What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're on uh, the Penny account, the one that we enjoy so much jumping on and testing out. Turns out we've done a lot of testing offline, and Augustus Magic Ball is just hands down the best artifact to run on Penny, mainly because she does lack the crowd control, and this does also give her some speed and attack value on top of that, so it gives survivability, it gives speed, it gives a whole bunch of stuff. Now, the one downside of running her this way is the fact that she does not have a lot of crit damage, because again, even if we run the speed crit stone, if we need to outspeed the enemy, that's kind of one of the important things. We'll try running this one and see how it turns out by going full on attack values, because we're not doing Aspen Dungeon today like we have been pushing. What we're going to be doing is Void Vortex to see how far we can get in Dominator. The first thing, the very first thing we need to see is even if she can go fast enough in combat. Now, uh, we can just put some other support heroes in that are going to be worthwhile. We can, of course, put some other heroes that might uh, help out in some different ways. We don't have any cores of origin. We're going to keep the, the queen in here. In reality, might be good putting Isla Mach in too just for some potential shielding. And then throwing her in the back. I don't think we need protection. We've already beaten a, quite a few of these. I'm really just checking out the speed on this first combat. And she is already faster than the enemy team, which is the most important part of this. So uh, the problem is we need her to crit. Come on, Penny. Come on. You can do it. Now the bubbles are down good. And <laughs> the Garuda being a pain in the booty right here. Now, we're going to have to do this with basics. Uh, it's going to be a little tricky, but I know a lot of these waves we're just going to be able to get a victory on on this difficulty. So we're going to skip through the first few battles and go to where we were previously stuck with this hero. However, we didn't really push a ton. I think we got to like Dominator Area 3 is what I'm thinking. The carry waves might be a little tricky, mainly just because, well... Uh, they have a chance to dodge her attack and if they dodge her attack. That's going to be really annoying on top of that There's Garuda. So whenever heroes die aka the carries They're just going to continue to heal and as the carries revive the Garuda's just heal and it's this really vicious cycle And we don't have a ton of support heroes to keep us alive really as you guys can see there So some of these planets we are going to reset and we're going to go for easier combats that shouldn't be too difficult like that <laughs> That's what I like to see right there. So let's see how far we can make it. We're moving into area five, which uh, still is only the attack value. It's not all damage yet. So we can probably skip a lot of these battles. We'll see if some of these are just easily doable and we will move further on. A lot of these waves are very weak. The ones that we're going to struggle the most with are pretty much what most people are, the carry Garuda waves, but like that wave there, not much of an issue per se. We could probably skip this one too, but I mean, like I said, we're basically just one-shotting most waves here. Like most waves are just going to be absolutely demolished by this hero. Uh, Sherlock is a little tricky as well, but we are going to use some gems on this one. We're going to see how far we can make it. If we can get out of Dominator. That would be awesome with a penny of all things. Now, the one nice thing about Penny, though, is she doesn't really care if she has energy. Yes, her active skill has potential to do more damage, her basic attack, but you can see right there, the amount of damage she does is explosive. So, I think this might be the furthest we've ever gotten on this account. We are up to four, so now we do need to hunt for the upgrades now. We need to go for that Fortress Protection. If we get the Fortress Protection, we should be good to go. Two tapping most waves, it looks like. Probably put her in the front row because there's a lot of Lord of Fear Aspens. If they get a fear off, we can't crit. We can't crit. <laughs> we don't win. <laughs> so let's do that. We'll put uh we'll put the penny in the front row. It does also protect us against like Unimax and stuff, so we just we just need to get two crits in a row. That's pretty much it. We could see if Punisher Staff works here too, because if we're just going for impressive round one. Uh, we might just want to go for a higher crit chance because right now when we get that fear effect, that's really bad for us So let's see what our options are if lowering our speed will be okay for us uh, We also have a fan to consider I forget. I think we have a punisher Which again 
would bring our crit chance up to 95 or we could just go with something even more oppressive and go for extremely higher all damage dealt in the first round which could be very good for us let's compare to that last combat our round one active though nope, we now go to slow so if we are going to run melodic it looks like we then have to speed back or go back to the speed crit stone we really don't want to go after the enemy Oof. That feels so bad. <laughs> and yeah, she's so much squishier this way. I think it's still going to be best running A and B, but let's try the Punisher with a Speed Stone. That does mean we are more offensive, but again, squishier. Speed Stone enough. It is. I feel like this might be the better option just because it, it keeps our crit chance higher. And yet somehow, I think we have like a 95% crit chance. We, we keep missing the round two crit, which is really, really annoying. We didn't crit in the first round either. <laughs> what is happening? How is this a thing? How is this a thing? Oh, this is bad. This is really bad because we're also getting that fear effect from the Aspen. Ooh, this is really bad. There we go. That's the hit we wanted. We want to make sure everybody in the back row does not die to the Aspen. Need them to survive so we don't get the fear effect spread around. And then another crit right here. There we go. All right. That's what I want to see. There we go. Um, Yeah, we're going to have to continue to hope we get lucky here with our protection sickness oh my gosh that is are you kidding me it's the last one. Oh, this is gonna get really tricky now the nice thing is levels one and two aren't gonna be as bad for penny because again she doesn't really care if she has energy or not i don't think these heroes can finish this out no no way they finish uh, they can't beat those carries again uh and the issue was i think she had the healing curse on her gosh the carries just keep dodging our attacks good get rid of all the amon ross shields please just let us win oh my gosh they keep dodging everything <laughs> it's so annoying um, I wonder if we can be any of these without. Mm, that's a lot less damage. I don't think so. I do not think so. I think we need the protection on these if we're going to run our hero like this, which does mean uh, we are at the will of the RNG gods at this point to try to get the fortress protection. Yeah, look at the damage difference. It's so insane. Uh, we almost died to the ping damage, so she luckily still has more HP than the Islamok, which is perfect. Okay, that's cool. We'll take it. Please, God. Are you kidding me? We're having the worst luck possible. I think, what, the first one we hit it, like, on the initial hit, but then after that, it's just all gone to hell. And, yeah, honestly, putting her in the front row, too, makes her avoid the Annabelle little puppet oh no he didn't crit again ah uh, so many attempts wasted wait are we gonna survive no there's no way yeah there's no way no way no way no how we should be able to clear this pretty easily there we go don't like this one but we already have protection so i'll give it at least one attempt without re-rolling it just depends on if we can kill these garudas in round two Got one of them and Penny almost died. Ah, it's possible. It's definitely possible, but I, this is probably one of the weakest matchups. Matchups, <laughs> matchups for us is the double Garuda. Yeah, no, no, we're we're gonna re-roll this. So we're we're gonna be buying quite a few attempts on this run because we want to finish this out. There we go. That one's going to be much, much easier for us to accomplish. There we go. All right. On to area three. So area three here 
as the same thing all damage oh look at that perfect there is a mim which might be dangerous for us uh okay we're alive hopefully no one else dies oh gosh please just lift your round two active yes the dove was actually kind of huge oh no that's not enough damage Oh no, it's not enough damage. We do have the protection though. This is such and again, Garuda is our hardest counter, and she is one of the most popular heroes in this one. Uh so we'll come back to that planet. We've already beaten this one before. Oh. Oh. We're getting so lucky now. And again, this one is uh very easily doable. We've already faced that exact wave. Uh we've beaten this one as well. Oh. Okay. All right, we are getting redemption now. Oh, wait, what? We beat this way before. Oh, no, this has an Eos. This one's slightly different. Oh, oh, the enemy's faster than us now? Well, that sucks because then that means we really need to go back to the drawing board and see if maybe these speed nodes will help us out. We could probably go back to Unbending Will as well. See if the additional speed from just enables is enough. It is. Okay, that's really good. The downside is, yeah, that queen is going to be an issue. So we're going to have to run Unbending Will on top of that just to absorb the extra hits, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, I think we're going to stick with the Punisher of Immortal for now. It gives that little extra oomph. Uh, we're definitely going to need like at least 20 more of these. So let's go. Let's fight. The, the Scarlet Queen Halora is the most annoying part here. I guess if we did go in with an active, we would hit potentially not Queen. So we could change Melodic Strings, but then that lowers our chance of getting a hit off. That's a tricky wave. What we can do is this, and then we might not hit Queen in round one, but that does mean our critical hit chance is lower, and that is a negative for us. That packed a punch. Holy cow. All right. That's that that's looking kind of good. Oh, <laughs> uh, there are a bunch of carries and stuff, but let's see, please get lucky. Pretty please. Uh, okay, not too bad. We still got 19 left. We'll stick with the melodic strings because it's probably gonna rock people's faces so long as we crit. If we don't crit, it's gonna be a very sad round one. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> that was a lot of protection signet rerolls. That's really annoying. Um, let's see if we can do it with this now. Melodic strings is uh performed pretty well. Now, this is one we don't necessarily need protection on because, of course, uh, we don't need energy for it to do amazing. There is a chance of being horrified and silenced though, which is a huge downside. But if we can get lucky, we get a couple of these planets with protection. Speed is now the issue again. We might have to go to an Augustus Magic Ball at this point. Which is sad to see, but it is funny how we have to constantly change up our strategy here. We can most likely go back to our attack nodes here. Maybe going back to bounce strike might be better in this situation now too to give us some healing. Might actually need that healing now. Yeah, that A and B made those last two hits do only one point of damage. But as you guys can see, our damage is also significantly lower at this point. This is gonna get tricky. <laughs> we might have to re-roll some of these waves as well. Uh, yeah, you can see such a difference in damage. It almost feels like it would be better to run the Melodic Strings, but... I don't like that wave. We'll come back to it again. Uh, bu 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 bu. I think we have to keep doing the same exact thing. This really sucks. Oh, it's so much less damage running it this way. I wonder if we have an Ignis. 
If we have a 10 star Ignis, that would be amazing. Because if, like, the other option is if we already know we're going to go slower than the enemy, we do something like this. And then. We don't have an Ignis, do we? We got a single Ignis copy. <laughs> oh. oh, that full heal would be so, so sweet right now. Might need to put her back in the back row again. But, I mean, there is a chance that, yeah, we definitely need Unbending Will. And we just need to survive and get the active off. And crit. <laughs> if we can do all that, we'll be fine. We just need to survive the whole first round, essentially. Now, this is bad, though, because there is a Lord Fear Aspen, so there's a chance she gets feared. But, this active right here. No! <laughs> Oh, the other downside of this one, there is a Fairy Queen Vessa, so can't crit the Vessa. This is probably not going to be great. No. What if your Aspen waves are really difficult? I just also realized Rogan didn't have Unbending Will on. <laughs> Ah, you fool, Barry, you fool. Uh, all right, let's keep looking at a couple of these other waves here. See what we do. Maybe putting the ticks back in the wave is better than the Isla Mach. Oh, we didn't even crit. This is going downhill really, really quickly at this point. Like, honestly, just throwing you in there just to get that ticks ghost out. There we go. We just need to get some survivable hits in the beginning. Honestly, yeah, I don't think we need protection on this one either. We just simply need to survive, which might be a little dangerous with these Delaceums. Rax shouldn't hit her. There we go. That's what I like to see. Eh, yeah, the Lord of Fear Aspen, I think, is going to be the problem. Get 20 more of these. I think we're going to reset and try to stay away from Aspen. Aspen seems to be one of our biggest counters because all of Penny's damage comes from her critical hit chance. Her passive, when she crits, it does. Oh, come on, man. Are you kidding me there? That's so stupid. That's so stupid. All right, I'm going to put you back in the back row for this one. See what you can do. Still getting sniped. She's somehow still getting sniped by every single hit. Oh, Lord. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to reset this one, too. That should be better. Again, we have 13 protection signals, but I don't think we need them. Yeah, she did get her energy drain. Doesn't really matter. Go. All right. On to Dominator Area Uno. A one. And again, we don't really need protection because we have a penny. And most of these combats should be done by round one. Yep, just like that. <laughs> Melodic strings seems to be the way to go. Um, <sighs> we'll come back to that one. Uh, we might be able to do this one just because the Fairy Queen Vesta isn't in the front row. Downside is there is a sword flash. Mm -hmm. That was another tricky planet. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Another potential tricky one just because there's lots of dodging going on. But as long as we have an active, we should win. Yep, there we go. Oh, there we go. There's a queen, and there's a Lord of Fear Aspen. Lord of Fear Aspen with the fear effect. Kind of bad, especially since I left her in the back row, which was kind of stupid. And now she can't crit. Yep. <laughs> Zero damage. All right. Home stretch here, boys and girls. We're going to need to do some rerolls. I know that. So let's first roll off of a Lord of Fear Aspen. That is a much, much easier wave right there. Again, it really sucks that there's that Scarlet or the uh, Fairy Queen Vessa because she's crit immune or not crit immune, but essentially crit immune. That one still kind of sucks. Reroll this one. That one does look better. 
But again, we kind of have to win round one. Oh, I should have put her in the front row. I should have put her in the front row. Oh, she got taunted. That's going to lower the overall crit damage we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so stupid how that works. Uh, put her back in the front row so she doesn't get taunted. What is... What? Hyperfest here. Good lord. Still might be able to win. It takes ghost. No, you're not going to help me out here? No, are you kidding me? No, we're, we can win this one. We can definitely win this one. This one is doable as is. It's going to skip it because we're going to win. We're going to win. We're going to win this one. I know we're going to win this one. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Is the RNG this bad? I thought it would have been an easy W. What is happening here? What? Are we just getting sniped every time? Yep. Yep. So, um, I don't know how she just kept sniping us. That seems a little unfair. She set the opponent. That is much better. <laughs> how does she keep getting sniped every single time with that energy drain? Gee, that was not a great hit. I think Carrie might have dodged that hit. There we go. Okay, much better. Much, much better. There we go. Now, I mean, I think the carries might come back, though, which is partly a problem. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> All right, it's time to re-roll some more. Let's just do some more re-rolls. Let's find something easier. That looks really easy. That definitely seems doable. Oh my god, if she doesn't die in round one. Holy cow, that was close. Oh, she didn't crit either. <laughs> Come on, girl, you can do this. You got this. Getting hit with everything. Again, I should probably put her in the back row, though. That way, she's at least not taking the Sun Devour Eos hit. There we go. She even won the crit damage or crit chance reduction. Um, let's see. Let's reset one more time. It does have the Lord of Your Aspen. I don't like it. Reset another time. That's doable. That that's mm, the double Garud is a little sketchy. Oh my gosh, the snipes are stupid. No, no. I know at this point we're probably wasting some gems, but there we go. I like that wave. That wave looks amazing. That wave looks perfect for us. Oh my god, don't die. Oh no. <laughs> she got a lot of extra energy and <laughs> she wipes it out. So there we go. We finished out all of Dominator with a penny and now we are into the overseer difficulty i don't know or think if we can even do anything here they got divine power now which is a huge difference in overall damage um let's just get our protection we'll give it one try see what happens honestly i wouldn't be surprised if penny's just dead before she even gets to go <laughs> Yeah, we'll leave this for another time. But hey, we got to Overseer, which is a pretty dang good accomplishment for us, if I do say so myself. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. If you want to see more of what this giant killer penny can do, stay tuned. We're going to have more for you. I'll see you guys next time.